welcome to the Fontographer tutorial series. This is Jimmy the Fontmeister again and today we're going to talk about blending fonts. There are times in every font designer's life when they want to blend a font. For example, to get a medium weight which is halfway between regular and bold. In order to blend a font, both fonts would have to have the same number of paths or Fontographer won't blend them. So for the purposes of this tutorial we're going to blend a plain font and a bold font to create a medium typeface. Now it's easier if you start with one of the fonts already open as you see here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to the Element Blend Fonts menu. And then we want to pick the font that we want to blend to. So what I've got here is the normal and the bold. Destination, we could leave that at New Font. And in this case we want all the glyphs. We're going to blend it by about 50%. And all these other options, uh, points, forcing a match, correcting path direction, re-encoding the font. Might as well just leave all those on. And we'll click Blend. So you see here the result is a font that is halfway between the normal weight and the bold weight. Okay, now that you've got a blended font, the first thing you do is go inspect it. Now if there was anything wrong with it, I can guarantee you it's going to be a pathing problem. There would be a mismatched path order or origin points and you need to fix that manually. Then you'd have to go back and try blend fonts again. Now if that doesn't solve the problem, you're going to have to inspect your paths very closely. Let's go back to the original font and see how we'd go about doing that. Okay, what I would do, I'd open up one of the characters. Uh, I don't know if you've ever noticed this before, but you see down here this point at the bottom has a marquee around it. That is the point of origin, the first point in the path. So you can go select it and go to Element and Selection Info and get information about the point and the pass. As we said, the other font that you're blending would have to have identical point origin. So you'd have to work on that. Now, another thing you're going to want to do is go here and check your preferences. Always make sure that you have these preferences on. So if there was a broken path, it would immediately tell you. Okay, so let's assume that you had fixed all your pathing problems. What you need to do is start again and we'll go back to Element Blend Fonts. Now this time, don't be so stringent. Turn off the Insert Points to Force a Match and keep it off from here on out. Now, another problem that can come up would be to go to Element, Font Info, and take a look at your dimensions. If the A sender and D sender are different for the two fonts you're blending, you're going to have trouble. So you may need to come in here and you know, first jot it down on scrap paper uh, what the other font is and make sure they match. And another final issue that might come up is the way that the characters sit on the baseline. Notice this font does not sit on the baseline. Maybe you had another font that you were blending that does sit on the baseline. So you got to match these things perfectly in order to get them to blend. Well, that's about all you need to know about blending fonts. Good luck, and don't try to blend something like uh, some really fancy cursive wedding font to Arial or Times New Roman, and you should be okay. All right? Uh, just let us know if there's any other kind of issues you'd, you'd like to see covered in the Fontographer tutorial series. And as always, check your user manual for more details.